what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? How many times must we tell this story? We got some Tennessee women. They pull up in a car, hop out. One chases her aunt upstairs to her apartment. Next thing you know, we hear six shots. The girl come back running down the stairs to the car, she shot me. And her friend said, she shot you? All right. I have never seen such calmness from a friend after a friend got shot. Fam, I've told you once, I'm going to tell you again. Stop messing with people. Stop thinking just because you might be bigger or stronger or you got more help, you got the rep, whatever it is, that you can just ride on people. Because, hey, man, there's a whole lot of people are not willing to take that L and they will shoot your ass. They will stab you. They will run you down in a car. You gotta stop thinking about what you're gonna do. It's cool, well, you know, you can think about what you're gonna do, but I'm saying stop thinking exclusively about what you're gonna do. Consider what your op may do. When that girl jumped out of that car, she had no idea that when she ran up on that girl and chased her up those stairs, that she was going to come back busting. Had no idea. She thought this was going to be a routine ass whooping. Yeah, I'm going to pull up. I'm going to show her what time it is. Yeah, talking all that. Do, 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 do. You know she did it like that. You know that's how it was. I did. It was giggling the whole way. Her friend was laughing, talking about, "Yeah, don't run, don't run, filming, don't run, don't run." Yeah, they thought it was a just routine ass whooping. They didn't know that they was going to end up in the emergency room. She jumped out the car, chased the girl up the stairs. I mean, she she literally ran after them bullets. <laughs> Who, shoot me, shoot me, shoot me. Well, she wasn't really saying that, but that was the aftermath. That's what happened. Old girl came back, pop, 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 pop. Let off six rounds on her. I'm surprised that she made it back to the car. Since they was in such uh, close proximity, it was so tight, the little area they were in was so tight. She chased up the staircase. So, you know, how why are we talking? Like, maybe, I don't know, four feet maximum? As far as the narrowness of it? She's very lucky. And, and I don't know if she's dead or not, but she made it to the car to tell her friend she shot me. And again, friends, I tell you that her friend said, oh, she shot you? All right. All right. Be careful, fam, who you hang out with. Be careful who you call your friends. Because I'm going to tell you something. Friends don't let friends get shot. A true friend is really not going to put your life in jeopardy. And I know we got a sometimes skewed idea what friendship is, especially when you're from the hood and, you know, you, you're accustomed to a lot of, you know, a lot of violence in your environment. 
you know, so, you know, you help somebody fight, they help you fight. And, you know, you, uh, you get into it and you, you jump into the battle no matter what, you know, right or wrong. You don't even, sometimes you don't even know what the situation is. But if they in it, you're in it. You know, sometimes, you know, people are prone to drama. And where you're trying to grow at some point and get out of that, you know, they may not get it. It's not wise for two fools to run together. Somebody got to have some sense. Somebody got to say, oh, let's think about that. Man. It can't be all go, all go. Think about the pairs of fools that you know who run together. Something bad always happens. You got to have that yin and the yang. That's what makes good business partnerships. You ever notice how some of the best business partnerships are forged when you have one person that may be good at the actual uh, talent side of the business and then another person may be good at the book side, the financial side, or the marketing side. That's how friendship should be. <laughs> you know, you if, if you're going to have a friend that's a little off, you know, if you if you if you're a little off, you don't need a friend that's off. You know, you need a friend that's on. You know, somebody who can talk you off the ledge, not somebody who's going to push you off the ledge or encourage you to jump off the ledge. You did. Now, there are people who call themselves friends, and a lot of times, it's their it, they're friends by the definition that they know because they don't know any better, then they think, well, you know, because we ride together, we roll together, I, I, I let you borrow money, and we sleep at each other's house, we eat over each other's house, we're friends. But true friends really do value your life, and they really do love your family. They love your, and, and, and you love their family. And so if you love their family, you don't want to be the one who is the reason that their family member, their loved one is locked up or dead or is sitting on the porch in a wheelchair for the rest of their lives. Because you got friends, so-called friends who love drama and they get a kick out of it. They laugh, they used to be laughing it up. <laughs> boy, you a fool, boy, you a fool. Yeah. Then you go out there and you do something, you bump your head and then they're laughing and they're on to the next because they get entertainment out of people's pain. They like to laugh at other people's pain. You know, it's entertaining to them, you know? So you got to be careful who you're rocking with. The woman who filmed, whoever that girl was filming, she's a clown. She's filming the live. Oh, she's a straight up clown. Straight clown. Her friend got shot. First of all, she laughing it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't run, don't run, don't run. So she instigate the whole time. And then when she come back shot, she say, she shot me. Oh, she shot you? All right. So cavalier, almost as if she knew something like that could happen. One more thing before I go. That car they climbed into was dirty as hell. I don't know about you, but when I look inside of a person's car and it's dirty, it's an indication to me that they're dirty. And I mean that in every sense of the word. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.